Find the volume of the solid generated by rotating the region bounded by the given curves about the specified axis and sketch the 2D region and a typical disk, washer or cylindrical shell. Y equals X to the 4, Y equals 0, and X equals 1, about X equals 2. Let's get started. To find the volume, we need to see first the two-dimensional region between our bounds, which is the function y equals x to the 4, and this is y equals x to the 4, just like x to the second, y equals 0, that is y equals 0, which is the x-axis, and x equals 1, that's this line right here, that is x equals 1. We will go about x equals 2, and that is x equals 2. To rotate this two-dimensional region, this right here, about x equals 2, we're going to see this on the other side with the same distance from the center x equals 2. To get started, we could write the volume equals from a to b 2 pi x times f of x dx where f of x is the height 2 pi x will be the circumference and delta x will be the thickness or delta x this is delta x right here this portion right here shows that we do have a delta x. Okay. Now, this right here, the x value will go from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. This right here is just 1. So the limit will be from 0 to 1. Now let's focus on the 2 pi x. The 2 pi x, which means 2 pi r, and the radius is the following. The radius is from this point to this point. But we can't do it uh, straightforward as a regular length. The reason why we need to subtract and find it from the center. From the center all the way to the y axis, that is 2. From this point to the y axis, that is x. So the radius is from this point to this point, and that is our radius. So let's write it down. This portion right here is fixed to. This right here is x, and the radius is from the center to where we have x sub i marked on the graph. That will be the difference, which is 2 minus x. That is the radius. So going back to the integration, 2 pi times x or the radius, and that is 2 minus x. The height is f of x, which is x to the 4 dx equals 2 pi, we'll take it outside, 
of our way. And we're going to multiply 2 minus x times x to the 4. Just like this. And we end up with 2 pi from 0 to 1. 2x to the 4 minus x to the 5th all with respect to dx. 2 pi 2x to the 5th over 5 minus x to the 6 over 6 from 0 to 1 equals 2 pi times plug in 1 for x to the 5th, that's 1. So end up with 2 over 5 minus plug in 1 for x to the 6th, that's just 1 over 6, all minus 0. The common denominator will be 5 times 6, which is 30. 2 pi, and we have 30 as a common denominator. Top side will be 2 times 6, which is 12, minus 1 times 5, and that is 7. And the final answer is 7 over 15 pi. And that should do it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.